Okay, so welcome back again to Leah Kutsiles. So now we are going to have a broad discussion on I'm speaking part one, which where we will talk about do's and don'ts. I mean, what you need to do and what you don't need to do it. So first one is know what to expect. That means it's very common that you will feel nervous uh, and little bit of nervous is okay. By that, you are preparing yourself that, okay, I need to prepare for my exam. You will have to build up that confidence or when you are going with the preparation, it, it might give you some sort of energy or, I mean, positive vibe within yourself. Then before part one begins, four things will happen, which is the examiner will introduce themselves and ask you what your name is. So you can simply reply, my name is. Make sure that you use the contraction name is rather than name is. I mean, names, my name's Irkum Depe, short form. This will remind you to use contractions, am, would, they will in the rest of the test. The examiner will then ask you, what can I call you? You can simply say, you can call me this. If you have an English name, it is fine to use it, but make sure that you pronounce it correctly. If you can say your own name properly, it does not create the best first impression. If unsure, just use your normal name. Just say it normally. You can say, apna dark naam ja sheta te bol te paren, or toba apna first name ta bole di te paren. They will then ask you, where are you from? Simply state, I'm from. Or there is no need for you to give an extra information about your answers at this stage. Because apna part one ekho no shuru hi hai nai, kanya to elaborately bolar ki chunai. Just say out the normal normal sentences. Then the examiner will finally ask to see your identification, show it to them, and then the test can begin. By knowing these four things will happen, you will be more confident and start the exam well. <clears throat> so number two do is create a good first impression. Most of them think that uh, if we have the eye contact or if we smile when we talk, or if you feel like, okay, like giggling and doing on it. So, it will definitely be she marks as we know. Abar both the parents say yes also. Mane both of them. Mane apto be she ukora javana je kubi notice hai. Abar kub komo kora javana. Yes, apna ekta kotha bolar chunno ba ekta manushi shate kotha bol chen apna the eye contact, but sometimes a smile face, you are not a robot. So keep a normal uh, facial expression so that they can feel good that, uh, yes, someone is examiner or general feel courage and now me to act the man of our shati kotha will be so it's like that. Uh, okay, this is a normal thing. Pretend it is just a normal conversation and it will be fine. Our bishi just stare core when I contact Koti Taki, Thag then continuous. No, it's our Kamon Shona Jana. We feel like what is happening here. So pretend you are interested in the questions. Let's face it, most IELTS questions are really boring. If you listen to someone answering and boring questions, you will notice one thing their voice is monotone. It does not go up or down in pitch at all. It sounds very flat. If you speak like this, you will get a lower mark for pronunciation because one of the crucial factors will be tested on is, is intonation. Hmm. So, air comb type of voice, or Javana, but Nija Shatanija Kothabol the same, air comb type of Shona Zatse, air comb. So, when native spe English speakers talk, their voice naturally falls and rises depending on how they feel about what they are saying. Javan Hoina Jamra Kunuki to excite many a Kothabol, she we just uh, go with some loud voices on it, put on some uh, ex expressions like wondering or excitement or happiness, sadness, like that. So, whenever you are 
going to talk about a topic make that that expressions are going on jeta ami sob shomoy bole it's not only for apnar shudhu ebhabe kotha bol dhoren apne mane normally karo sathe kotha bolchen obviously apnar jekhane apnar ektu emotion beshi depressed apni ektu gombhir hoye kotha bolchen kotha apne halka mode achen so you friendly environment hastasen ba kono kichu topic niye bolchen khushi so it 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 shows in your face so your speaking also going like that je face o kotha bolche er upor theke ar ki so imagine you are late for class you walk into the room and the teacher says to you in a falling tone sit down please tale ki bhabben nishchoy mone amar sathe rag korche hm tar ashole to erokom na hoyte pare abar jokhon apnar late hoyeche normally kotha bolche okay that means bujhte parchen je acha thik acha mrs okay with it so that's the thing if you uh, just show that okay you can answer it well then extend your answers there is no set amount of words or sentences that you should use in part 1 they shouldn't be too short because you want to show the examiner that you can actually use english so i am a student is not really long enough to the one i am a student that's enough what do you do i am a student however they should not be too long either part 1 is on familiar topics and you don't normally talk for 2 minutes when someone asks you where are you from also you will have lots of opportunities to give long answers in parts 2 and 3 so as a general rule uh, if you only give a single sentence answer with a single clause i am from ireland then your answer is too short i also don't think that part answer should have more than 3 sentences somewhere in between is just right so not one sentences not five to six sentences it can be between three sentences number 5 is practice don't just say like that there you are saying something in a memorized way yes as you have memorized kore achen erokom answers jeno na shonay So, if you want to practice within yourself, जे तो partners हम रहो नेक्स्ट शो में पाए ना, so what you can do then? So try to record yourself and then listen back and think about the following. Could you improve the vocabulary? Did you make any grammar mistakes that could be fixed? Did you speak fluently or did you speak at an unnatural speed? How was your intonation? <clears throat> did you extend your answers enough? Did you speak clearly? দেখেন আমি কোয়েশ্চেন বলার সময় একটা কিন্তু টাইপের জিনিস বা একটা প্রশ্নের রিলেটেড এরকম এক্সপ্রেশন গুলো ঠিক রাখার যেটা আমরা ইন্টোনেশন হিসেবে জানি শেষ করে দিবেন নো ইউ শুডেন্ট গো ফর ইট তাহলে এটা টু স্মল হয়ে যায় go off topic sometimes students try to tell your their you their life story on entire history of your hometown when you ask their name and where they are from remember that these are very simple questions and you have given more than 3 to 4 sentences you are probably giving irrelevant details for example okay, let me go with the bold one here So I I recently asked the girl like it's that she didn't free time and she told me everything there was to know about badminton I did not ask about the rules history great players positives and negatives of the sport just which sports she liked and why মানে তাকে জিজ্ঞেস করা হয়েছে যে আপনি কি স্পোর্টস পছন্দ করেন এবং কেন সে কি বললো রুলস রেগুলেশন হিস্ট্রি প্লেয়ার্স কি কি ছিল পজিটিভ এভরি সিঙ্গল থিং মানে ওইটা নিয়ে পুরো ব্যাকগ্রাউন্ড হিস্ট্রি দিয়ে দিয়েছে নো জাস্ট থ্রি টু ফোর সেন্টেন্সেস টেক দু দ্য কোয়েশ্চেন অ্যান্ড গো অন গিভ নো আনসার 
you don't get to choose the question and if you don't know the answer to a question or you simply don't like the question you don't have a choice you must answer it oneke bhaben je acha answer jehetu pari na ba eta ki hobe bujhtesi na ba ei rokom kichu hoy ni apni bolchen je i don't know it or this is so that's not the thing you do apni oi topic somporke janen na janen je context ekta dui ta words bujhtesen oi ta diye continue korben যতটুকু পসিবল বাট আমি পারি না জানি না বা হচ্ছে এরকম টাইপের কথাগুলো বলবেন না যদি কোয়েশ্চেনটা না বুঝে থাকেন ইউ ক্যান আস্ক ইট যে আই ডিডেন্ট গেট দ্য কোয়েশ্চেন আর কুড ইউ প্লিজ রিপিট আগেন ইউ ক্যান সে লাইক দ্যাট ডোন্ট সে দ্যাট আই খান আনসার ইট If you really have no idea, be honest with the examiner and tell them you don't really know and then have a guess. It is not an examination of your knowledge. It is a test of your English. So it is perfectly acceptable to make something up if you are really stuck. But then you still have to continue by thinking a similar context on that or guessing it. Speak very quietly. মানে এতই আসতে কথা বলতেছেন বা আপনি এক ইন্ট্রোভার্ট পার্সন রা যা হয় আর এমন ভাবে কথা বলতেছেন যে কিছুই বোঝা যাচ্ছে না রেকর্ডিং ডিভাইসেও সেটা মাঝে মাঝে আসবে না এরকম টাইপের এত স্লো কথা বলা যাবে না সো বি এ পারফেকশনিস্ট দ্য এক্সামিনার নোজ দ্যাট ইউ আর স্পিকিং ইন এ নন নেটিভ ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ অ্যান্ড ডাজ নট এক্সপেক্ট পারফেকশন Even people who get a 9 make small mistakes. And people who get spend 7 and 8 make quite a few mistakes. So if you're constantly thinking about the perfect grammar and vocabulary, it will reduce your fluency and pronunciation. Fluency and pronunciation make up 50% of your marks. So there is no point in trying to use perfect grammar and vocab. If you're losing half your marks in the process. Speak as naturally as possible with a focus on speaking at a natural speed and clear pronunciation and the grammar and vocabulary will look after itself. So fluency and pronunciation covers 50. I mean half of the marks we can say and half of the other but it can also be um, pointed out that okay little bit grammar correction or a mistake is also okay. They, they, are the, uh, they are going to go for the marking criteria, obviously. Marking criteria is that they have to follow. But the thing is that if you are good in fluency and pronunciation, they might give you some sort of feeling that, okay, she can continue with it. Jethu fluency means continuity of talk. You can have to see that you are speaking to your speaking, you are not capable. I mean, if you have a situation or topic, you can stick to your situation by pointing out things.